Hello ladies and gentlemen, Nick here and welcome to my unboxing for my Doctor Who Resolution Blu-ray. Uh, before we start, I'd just like to say that um, on a a comment on uh, my uh, Series 11 Blu-ray unboxing on the Whovians Amino account uh, app, I got a comment from one of my followers. Um, is that what they Yeah, followers saying that they can clearly see the name and the address. So, um, and they suggested blacking it out, um, in future. I think that's what he said. Um, or said I ought to have blacked it out. So, for this one, I've, uh, blacked, blanked out the address and not my name, but my dad's name because we used his Amazon account, um, for the purchase. So, it was addressed to him. But it, this is technically mine. Um, really, I think mean, it was used with some of my money, so... And it <laughs> would have been mine anyway. Because this is the Doctor Who series of... Uh, Doctor Who Blu-ray. Yeah, I was going to say Series 11 Blu-ray, but... what well, it is Series 11, technically, not the Series 11 one. That's already been... We already got that one. But, anyway, so... Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to do an unboxing for this. Uh, today, and um, also to note that even though the address would have been seen, you could pro uh, not seen here, you probably already know. I've already done a couple of other videos where it's been noticed. I even did a whole documentary about the street and the history from one of my college projects back at the end of 2015, start of 2016. Well, it was done at the start of 2015, but it had to be re uploaded at the sorry, end of 2015, but it had to be re uploaded at the start of 2016. Those were simpler times for me. <laughs> But, uh, okay, let's uh, do this. Let's unbox the Resolution Blu-ray. Note to self, also go and watch that trailer from the BBC Doc 2 YouTube channel afterwards. Okay, here we go. Oh, good, it, it comes with a slipcase. I, I wasn't certain if this one would come with a slipcase. Day of the Doctor and Time of the Doctor, which I've got individual releases for, they didn't come with a slipcase, but that's all right. I've made my own little mini... Uh, two DV, two Blu-ray uh, box set with them. Meanwhile, Twice Upon a Time did come with a slipcase, so that was cool. And if it hadn't, or this hadn't, I can always make my own, like the Blu-ray, like the box set I did for day and time. Um, yeah, and also the, the uh, artwork is the same. It's the same artwork as they were saying, uh, work in progress it is the same. So you've got the uh, a poster, I suppose. Um, show it to you. Um, we've got the BBC, sorry, uh, Blu-ray logo with this uh, strip cross, like normal BBC Doctor Who resolution, with the first, the TARDIS in the background with the Thirteenth Doctor with that brilliant scarf. I don't care if people are saying "Ooh, a LGBT stuff" or starters. I don't think that's the me the point. Second of all, it's still cool. And so, yeah. Um, so we've got the Doctor in the front, and the companions, um, and then at the bottom you've got those three guys from the start of the story. So they didn't really have that much importance. Well, they did, to be honest, but they were only there for a few minutes. I um, don't know if it was really worth taking them off the cover. I mean, the poster makes sense because the story hadn't aired by that point, but... Oh well, it's, it's, it's a poster image. Uh, Spine's pretty much the same, and the story is rated 12 in the UK and Ireland, and uh, in, in the UK's case, pretty much every episode since The Woman Who Fell to Earth is rated 12, with the exception of the Tessaranga Conundrum, which is good because that one was the least 12 rated episode, and I thought a couple of others could pass at PG, but if any of them were not 12, that uh, Tessaranga would be the non-12, and thankfully it is a PG. If it was a 12, I would be uh, a bit annoyed. Not because I like it, it was my least favourite of the series. I did think it was alright though. Um, but because it was the least 12, in my opinion. The first three episodes seem to have gotten a PG in Ireland, and then from that point on, with the possible exception of Tussaranga, and maybe one or two others, I'm not certain, with Ireland. But certainly for the first three in Tussaranga, the rest were 12s. Um, we'll see. Um, so anyway, if anyone from Ireland who's uh, been at the board uh, knows the Irish board ratings, uh, please let me know. And on the back, I haven't actually seen this yet, um, 
as the new year begins, a terrifying evil is staring from across the centuries of Brit Earth's history. As the Doctor, Ryan, Graham and Yaz return home, will they be able to fake overcome it? the threat to prevent uh, to planet Earth? And bonus features include Series 11 Look Back, Resolution, Behind the Scenes, a Dalek Reform, yep, Reformed and Closer Look. And for, f for the f only time on this release, we we actually have a Dalek mentioned. We don't see a Dalek, we've got another poster image of the gang, uh, or fam, as they're called in this story. But the first mention of a Dalek here, um, starring Jodie Whittaker, Bradley Walsh, Totten, Totten Cole and Mandit Gill, executive producer and writer Chris Chibnall, ex executive producer Matt Stravins, directed by Wayne Yip. This release has audio navigation and audio description, episodes only, uh, broke to 12 for Moderate Fantasy Threat, and was released in 2019 on D, well the story was 2019 as well, and uh, released on Blu-ray in 2019, and is 60 minutes approximate on a single disc format. I'm getting all technical all of a sudden. And like some of the more recent Blu-rays, it is a more squared top one as opposed to the nice rounded one. Um, I think Time of the Doctor was a squared one. I've swapped that with another Blu-ray to be... No, it was, or no I, I think I swapped my Amazing Spider-Man uh, 2 square one uh, with the... Uh, was it, or was it the first one? Um, I swapped one of the Amazing Spider-Man Blu-rays I had with one of the 50th anniversary ones, so they could, so both sets could be lined up. One set's a square corner, and one set's a round corner. Twice upon a time, I think it's a round corner. I might be wrong. I'll have a look afterwards and uh, put it into the edit. Uh, this one is a squared one, and uh, now I just have to open it. Uh, to in see inside the cover is pretty much the exact same, apart from the fact that I know the spine is also blue. Um, nice blue spine, might have to readjust this K uh, cover. As you know, DVD and Blu ray covers, they get themselves, they have. This isn't even that sharp. Their covers sometimes seem to move them around. Even when you're trying to adjust the covers, they still move around. I know this isn't that exciting. It's an unboxing. What do you expect? <sighs> Come on. That's probably because it's from. P.S. If you saw my series eleven ranking. Uh, I've just tried talking whilst I do this. Uh, you'll know that Resolution, Resolution, I believe, came fourth from that ranking after a rethink. Uh, actually, whilst recording, a quick rethink, I changed, you know, changed it from being five to four, swapping with Kablam, the seventh episode of the series. So Resolution then became my fourth favourite story of F Series 11, including the, the New Year special. And um, so, yeah, and it currently, well, it, even if it was still number five, it still currently resides in my top five Jodie Whittaker stories, a ranking list I will be pre performing, unless there is a, any more than five, there is five or more episodes by the time we get back to this point in my big, um, An Unearthly Child 2, whatever the current story at the time is, uh, chronological order rewatches. I mean, I will, I am going to dip in and out of these re uh, rewatches for other stories further and maybe even further, uh, both further forward and maybe even further back down the line. For example, Series 11 last month, and I'm going to do an Attack of the Sidemen review for Universals next month. And this, uh, I've got to watch this as well uh, on my new Blu ray. Um, so that's, yeah, I'll be having to do it uh, forward. I might even have to go back at some points for uh, uh, late, later down the line in some place, cases. Um, so yeah, at current time of recording, my latest review is The Abominable Snowmen, which is at time of recording going out tomorrow. And I'll be checking out The Ice Warriors soon, but to be honest, that's not one I'm particularly looking forward to going back with, too. Um, but The Enemy of the World follows, so that'll, that, so that'll help uh, with the pain. <laughs> okay, The Ice Warriors isn't, isn't that bad. 
not for me anyway, um, but it is, is, that's my least favourite Series 5. That's the Saranga uh, Nazis Series Season 5, the uh, Patrick Troutman season. It's the, the Saranga conundrum of that season, whilst Tomb of the Cybermen, which I recently did, is the Rosa of Season 5, and Enemy of the World, which is following Ice Warriors, will be the Demons of the Punjabs, or Woman Who Felt Worth, of that season. Uh, let's go with Demons of the Punjab, because it comes very close. Uh, just, but just slightly missing. Um, so yeah, uh, just a quick chat. So I like, so I am doing this chronological order that the reviews are coming from. Um, what well, up to uh, series nine anyway, or up to series eight and some series nine ones, uh, maybe a bit sooner. But we'll, we'll see. I probably uh, certainly the series nine ones will be on this channel, whilst the up ones up to last Christmas will be on retro, and then series nine and uh, post series nine. On the main channel, uh, so series twelve when that comes along as well. Um, so yeah, but like as I was saying, if by the end of this big uh, chronological marathon, uh, in a way, resolution is the last story, then it's going to be a top five thirteenth Doctor stories. But if we get at least five more stories, we could push push it up to ten, or at least uh, enough to have more than two or three episodes. Um, not featuring in the overall list, so probably by the te maybe after series 12 has ended, we'll uh, do a top 10 13th Doctor list. Uh, like I said, depends on when we finish. It could, we might even, fi we, I don't think I'll finish in the summer, but maybe by November we'll get back, all the way back to resolution. Uh, for example, and that'll be the latest one until Christmas, New Year's Day, probably New Year's Day. Um, but also we can we can eat. if series twelve comes very early in season twenty 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 then um that won't be so difficult uh, waiting around won't take too, too much hassle um anyway so opening up there's no slip there's no slip le leaflet and the disc art shoved to the side. This is the least interesting inside of a Doctor Who Blu-ray I've had. I mean, I don't think Day and Time had that much. There was definitely a HD, an ultraviolet thing for Day of the Doctor. Um, but yeah, I think that was it. I think I have had in my own personal touches to them, so I might have to do that here, maybe twice upon a time as well if I have to. Uh, that one also came with a, a sort of leaflet. Yeah, um, no leaflets here. Strange, but oh well. Uh, or maybe it was just my copy. As for the disc art, well, considering it's only a single disc set, they shoved the cover to the side. I suppose it's needed so they could have the title and the certifications and the logos. But it looks a bit awkward. Uh, again, possibly the worst Blu-ray disc artwork. That isn't uh, across every single disc of the complete series box sets, like 10 and 11. Um, but for individual story, possibly the worst. So, in conclusion, um, I'm going to do a proper review on this after I've watched rewatched the story and watched the extras. This will probably be at time recording next week because I, it's half term this week and my sister will be here. She's off school. Um, so I'll have to watch it next week um, when she's not here. Um, so I'll try and watch... The, the story's are an hour, and I don't know how long the extras are. I would expect, I ex well, the closer looks probably going to be about five to ten minutes. I expect it's going to be about an hour. There's nine, five extras on here. That's cool. Um, might not be terribly long, as special features don't seem to be that long anymore. Um, and this is not just Doctor Who. This is general, uh, generally. Um, there might be the occasional. A uh, twenty-minute documentary, or something, but usually it's about ten minutes at fifteen at most for a latest for a later release. So yeah, Doctor Who Resolution. It's a nice release. Um, a little bit disappointed of the disc art and surprised there isn't an inside slip or anything, but not even for merchandise. Um. But, as a whole, I'm, I'm glad for the slipcase, and it looks nice, and it's great to have every single Doctor Who story that survives or is being reconstructed or reanimation, reanimated in my collection at this point in time. However, the mac at time recording, the Macro Terror is due to be released on DVD and Blu-ray in about a month. 
so I'll have to be getting that as well. But until then, uh, I've now got every single story that's been released on DVD or Blu-ray or and uh, DVD and Blu-ray in some cases. Okay, so I don't know how much time left, so I'm going to quickly wrap this up. And um, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the review of this uh, Blu-ray. See if the content on the disc can improve the art on the artwork <laughs> and inside. Okay, that was, it was just a bit of a surprise and slightly annoying, but I'm, I'm happy for the rest of it. Uh, apart from the fact that we got these guys instead of a Dalek, but and no Dalek on the back. But oh well, nitpicks. Um, but like I said, I'll do a proper review in a, a two or three weeks time so uh well, a week or two so i should say actually so that's it from me thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time goodbye don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official nicholas payne youtube channel